Hi, my name is Daryl. I'm one of the engineers in the technical center here at TDK Components USA. One of the questions that our customers often ask is, what is the most accurate method to measure capacitance in an MLCC, or multi-layer ceramic capacitor? This question is generally asked because after receiving an order from us, they're trying to validate it, only to discover the capacitor readings are lower than what they had expected. I have on the table here a class 2 100 microfarad capacitor with a tolerance of plus or minus 10 percent and we're going to use an Agilent handheld meter that is precision accuracy of 1 percent and we're going to measure and see what we get. As you can see we are reading between 65 and 66 microfarads which is far below what we would expect. Uh, if you remember, we had a tolerance of plus or minus 10%, so we would expect the reading to be between 90 microfarads and 110 microfarads. And at this point, the customer may be asking themselves, was I shipped the wrong order, or is this part defective? I know this to be the correct value because I prepared this capacitor myself beforehand. We need to shift our attention over to the equipment that I have used, these digital handheld multimeters. Specifically, how are they measuring capacitance? There are a lot of manufacturers out there, but the algorithms are similar. This particular meter sends out a known current for a predetermined time. A voltage is taken across the capacitor, and the capacitance is calculated by the meter's firmware. This algorithm works great for low cap values, but when we start talking about high cap values, MLCCs, 10 microfarads and above, impedance becomes a factor. High capacitance equates to a lower impedance. Therefore, a lesser current is actually charging the capacitor. When high capacitance is calculated using an insufficient current level, the inaccuracies become obvious. Simply put, there is not enough steady current in reaching high capacitance MLCCs to measure them accurately. I'd like to introduce at this time the LCR meters, which take into account and compensate for the impedance factors that the digital handheld multimeters were not able to do. This chart is the one that we use to measure our MLCCs. As you can see, depending on what class and cap values we have, determine what frequency and amplitude we are going to use. In our case, we have a class 2 100 microfarad capacitor, so we will need to use an 120 hertz sine wave with an amplitude of 0.5 volts. I went ahead and prepared beforehand the settings in this LCR meter. According to the chart that we saw previous to this, we now have 120 hertz for the frequency and a 500 millivolt for the amplitude. But I'd like to address another feature that we haven't talked about up to this point, and that's the ALC, which stands for Automatic Level Control. What the Automatic Level Control does, or ALC, inside these meters is they automatically adjust the impedance depending on the capacitance value that you're actually trying to measure. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at what we're actually measuring with these settings. And as you can see, we're very close to 93 microfarads, which is well within our tolerance. Uh, as you remember before, we actually, with the digital handheld meter, we were measuring around 65 and 66 microfarads. That's a huge difference. And to show you how important this impedance plays in these measuring these high caps, I'm going to turn the ALC function back off and we'll see what kind of reading we get. The meter's displaying around 73 microfarads, which is a, not an accurate measurement. So I just wanted to demonstrate how these LCR meters with the ALC function turned on, as well as the correct frequency and the right amplitude, this is the most accurate method to measure high capacitance in LCCs.